पावर्ड बाय उच्च सोच को निर्माण सगर माथा सीमेंट जूनी जूनी लाई वेल मानिन सा सब द अरुमाई सा संसार र यो संसार लाय आऊं लायूं ना रखिए लायूं ना सफल बनने से एक जने ये स्तावस्ती जस्ट लेसन ही तपने उनको मन र मस्तिष्क में अपनों ठाऊं बनाऊं ना सफल होने वाले सा कौन सा बाय यो चैप्टर पची Alright, here is the Prime Times SD, Mahu Jai Pradhan. Saath ma unnsa meru waha ko pari chai chai dena wala tebini for the formality of the show. Yes, let me introduce you to him. To him, Referi. Well, to you all. Sajam Raz Bhai Dhe. Welcome to the show, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Well, I had a few time with him, very few time with him. I know, Ani, just before the interview. But, you know, you've been a very friendly guy, Sajam. Thank you for the compliment. That's a good way to start. A very good quote. Thank you, thank you. Zunar ka season na orange, orange. Yeah, definitely. You know, orangey season. Yeah, definitely. I had this made actually in Nepal, so it's... It's designed by you? No, no, no. I just I went to the store, suit land money, and it just made it. I love it. It's going to make a lot of money now, you know? I hope so, I hope so. You know... Yeah, just complimenting on things, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mainly do it. Like we, we talked about it yeah. in Agadi as well. Rather than brands, it's about like yes, saying, having yes, good eye is, and everything. And is, this is, is just like, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to have that done. And he, rather than uh, paying so too much for it, this was uh, done very humble, much, not very not, humble of a guy. No, no, no. But, uh, it's true. And then he, uh, yeah. So it's like if you can get something for five thousand like this, uh, rather than paying like you know five hundred dollars, I'd always go for that. All oh, so, right, yeah. nice one, nice one, nice one. By the way, do you, are you following the Premier League right now? I am. I yeah? always do. Congratulations yeah. on the. Win yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, it was a scrape of a win, but you know, uh, we're fine. You know, uh, I'm a Liverpool fan myself. Oh, so in that yeah, case, we have no trouble. Were, <laughs> then we have no good trouble times, you know? fight, yeah. But then, f football is something you know that has taught me a lot because you know I, I I've become a Liverpool fan since 2004. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the kind of ups and downs that yeah. the football team has gone through yeah. has made me realize, like you know, life is somewhat like that. Yeah. There are highs yeah. and there are lows, and and you're enjoying the highs at the moment. You know, like I it's been so. it's been a while. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah. But, Sazan, what is it like to have all the attention in the world? I mean, I'm not sure that I do, but it's 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 good. It's good to have attention. That that kind of means, uh, you know, people relate to you, mm. what, what you do. Um, you connect to them somehow. Mm. Perhaps it's something you agree on. Mm. You know, one body could ask, not body could ask. It's just, you know, connecting to people and uh, it's essentially sharing the idea that we're all human and we feel the same kind of emotions and, you know, experiences and everything. And so it's good. It's good. I mean, catering to emotions is a pretty tricky thing. Do you, do you think like that on a, on a personal level? like channel it's it's pretty tricky and complicated don't you think no no it certainly is uh, especially when you put yourself in somebody else's shoes it's always difficult mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's why I think uh, you know what I've learned uh, is essentially just uh, trying to imagine you know how you would feel in a certain situation and trying to recall after like here about cost experiences about any yeah, well, I think that's the only thing you can do best. Um, you can never put yourself in, truly put yourself in other people's shoes. You can just, uh, you know, uh, like source uh, from from your own mm -hmm. set of emotions and experiences. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, yeah, that's 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 I think what I try to do. When you begin with your work or your craft, let's say, you know, craft. with your craft, <laughs> right? I think you'll probably go down as one of the you know biggest names in Nepali music industry. You know, one of the biggest names of our generation, <laughs> and probably the one who who will have his songs played until coming. I don't know, like a century more or a millennium more, but, if, as long as the world exists well, and Nep you know Nepal and Nepal exist. You know, I think that's one of the biggest compliments. <laughs> I, I think so. I think that. so. You know, it, the but kind yeah. of words that you come up with. Right. What is the process of writing a song, like writing or coming up with a song? You know, like do you do you do you um, strum it first, or do you do you prepare the music first, or do you pen it first? Well, well that's the thing. Like it's it's not set in any one way or mm. method. There's no formula to it. Um, I think the way I've been 
fortunate to, to work with things is that it's always been, um, you know, I've, I've been able to uh, like encounter mm. stories and music and everything mm. um, uh, both ways. Sometimes mm -hmm. I, I have music first and sometimes I have the, I have the words first and sometimes I'm just um, in a, in a toilet, just playing the guitar. Actually, this, yeah, yeah. I, I love playing in, in mm. reverb rooms and shower mm. rooms, and mm. you know, um, actually, before my show that we just recently mm. did with, with, with the team, mm. uh, the rehearsal was mostly done in a toilet. <laughs> wow. So you know, before the band, uh, mm. we, we jammed in a studio as well. But uh, essentially, it's um, yeah, it's it's everywhere. Sometimes uh, this recent song, Excel Renam, mm. the music was there first. Uh, but before, um, before this, uh, what, what was there before this? Before? Oh, yeah, Sostamudu. Sostamudu yeah. was uh, words first, uh, things like that. So it's just essentially uh, more than what comes first, it's the idea. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that you want to talk about? What is the story that you want to highlight and mm -hmm. everything? And uh, that's my process, so at least yeah. uh, that's what I've been doing. You're told it to on the again. Saif Ali Khan actually has built a bookshelf Okay. Has set up a bookshelf in his toilet so that he does not uh, miss out on reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of the facts that you know I came across, and it actually fascinates me how people are so passionate about things they love. Yeah. And and music has always been with you, and you've yeah. been starting to do music. Well, the one when I checked your YouTube uh, channel, uh, the last one was seven years back. No, I see. You, ha yeah. you, had a, you have a couple of covers done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you going to come up with covers anytime soon? Or Abba Khali, it's all about, uh, you know, your personal craft. Uh, so, Abba Day is essentially about, you know, trying to write your own stuff and, mm. you know, this body. Because mm. there's more stories and, you know, hopefully I'll always have mm. more stories to talk about and more ideas and more themes. Mm. And do it say, oh, that's what we'd like to focus mm. on. But a cover day, although we might not publish it, mm. um, like, you know, in our shows, I, mm. I cover quite a lot. Mm. Um, this time, um, I, in, in the last show, I had a couple of covers as well, mm. both Nepali and uh, you know, non-Nepali artists as well, and things like that. So, that's, I mean, as a musician, you always cover stuff, and uh, that's what I what I try to do. Publish, maybe. I mean, there's no reason why I would say no mm. or yes, and yeah, I just go with the flow and see what happens. Nice. So you you recently had this exclusive concert, right? Where actually it's been a, it's been the buzz of the town. Wherever I go, you know, <laughs> how, how, how does that mechanism work, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you get those private invitations and everything? You probably have to ask with Sazan, how does it work? And they were like, what was the concept behind having a very exclusive and uh, the kind of, you know, personal kind of concert? Yeah, so we were not focusing on uh, exclusivity this time. Right. I think that's what people understand and yeah. that's a little bit of a misunderstanding. We just wanted to do a small show. Right. We wanted to do an uh, unsponsored show. Uh -huh. uh, we wanted to do... That's very uh, brave of you. Uh, <laughs> you know, we tried, my team made it happen. Uh -huh. So We wanted to do a very intimate show uh -huh. and we wanted to do one where it was for the music, right. uh, good or bad. Costa right. show, you know, that's up to the b b attendees. But um, good or bad, it, it would be just the intimate shows because uh, we've seen that, you know, in Nepali, uh, you know, the music scene. It's not about the concert at all. It's first and foremost, it's about the venue. Okay. Second, it was about what Rocky Roxisa, what brand of alcohol is funding. <laughs> Third of all, it's like, oh, what DJ is playing after and how long is, is the uh, party going to go on? Uh -huh. And then it's about, oh, okay, how much promotion can we get mm. out of this? And in the end, it's about, oh, the artist. What's the sound system like? Oh, okay, yeah, we'll sort that out. Mm. You know, oh, I guess we're going to have to be with it. So we're like, nah, if we are, if it's, it, it is going to be like a bootstrap, mm. we're going to do it ourselves. And uh, we, so we, I've got a team, obviously, mm. I, I, you know, like talking about them quite a lot because they make all these yeah. magical things mm. happen. Um, Downtown Flux. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple of collaborators this time right. as well. Um, the, the, the thing is that we, we've been there since, there was nothing uh, mm. since, since, you know, I mean, when I say nothing is in terms of, you know, the, 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 the support that we've gotten and everything. And it, it was slowly built up. Mm. Um, but the thing is that the stories that we've been able to tell, it's because of the entire effort. And, and uh, Downtown Flux, we wanted to do our show first. We didn't want anybody else to have it. We didn't want any, you know, mm -hmm. we didn't want to go into a venue with the same thing. We didn't mm -hmm. want to go to a venue and be like, oh, okay, so it's that many people, this many, like, you know, uh, this much alcohol sold, is sponsored by this and this and that and all that sort of stuff. No hoops to jump through, nothing. We just wanted to be 
a show and uh, it had to be small so that it could be intimate so that I could mm. see the you know person at the last mm. row um, as well as the first mm. um, and that was very important and um, yeah so it was, it was just about this was something that my team facilitated so that I could have my yeah. uh, wish Espalice, because I love doing private and intimate uh -huh. shows big shows is great they're, right. they're, they're fantastic but the, the, the thing that you can actually just look uh, at somebody in the eye and just be there is, is, is massively uh, you know, important to me. And I think a couple of times I even got to make jokes uh, mm. that were silly jokes, very lame, didn't really, weren't, weren't even funny, but at least I got to say that to the mm -hmm. person listening to me, you know, right from the row three and everything. So that was a concept. It was not to be exclusive. It was so that we would do a show that was for, you know, um, for the intimacy of things. And because when, when we started, there were what? 40 fans, mm -hmm. 4,000 fans and you know, supporters and that's, that's the kind of idea that we wanted to have and it's like, you know, hopefully we got it through. All right, on that note, we'll be taking the commercial break, the first commercial break and we'll be back on Tiagov. This is Jay Pradhan with the one and only Sultan Rasbaidia. This is Prime Times SG, Ramosang Ununsa, Sachin Raz by this. Speaking about the team, and I'd like to give a big shout out to Pratik first of all. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And this is who I had the first meeting with, yep, yep. with you and Sharif. Yep. And then Oile, he's manager right now, Soumya. Yep. Right? Amazing coordination with the team, and yep. they, they're pretty responsive. Yeah. It makes me feel like, wow, now this is something professional that I'm dealing with. No, definitely. It's easy. Whenever. Yeah, and we have more uh, members as well. We ah. have Kailash, uh, we have Nurbu as well, ah. who are, are not in uh, Nepal right now. But yeah, it's every little thing that we do, ah. uh, it comes through that. It's uh, the five of us, the other core members, uh, Soumya, uh, Sharif, ah. I, Nurbu, Kailash, ah. and we try to make things happen. Ah. Uh, we, we have the pleasure of uh, collaborating with Pratik and, and a lot of the others, mm. just like I said. And yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, Generally, is uh, rather than the professional side of things, it's uh, a group of people uh, that are passionate about you know what they do, and uh, and yeah, we're just we're just fortunate to be able to be in this place. Ah, Sazan, like you did the, the the concert, and we just talked about it. Yeah. You, you 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 just you know cleared a lot of air right mm. there. I just want to ask this: Koti call I team like, bro. Tickets are on for you. I mean, like they want a bro. It's probably the the good thing about you know um, having the team is. Because you had a lot of people I know there. No, and, I mean, know, they probably would. Unyo ro let's say you know I'm saying them deal got in so that uh, I could only focus on music. Okay. So I you stayed away from it. I, I stayed absolutely away from it because <laughs> we, we knew we knew that you know it Man. would it would seem like it comes from a place of arrogance and everything. We we were aware. Um, that's not the case, but one nearly once it, I know. I thought it's a good idea. I got it out of them. I do a true or to change with them. So we wanted to do a show and we knew like we would get a lot of heat mm. and uh, we were ready for it. In, well, that, yeah, in turn, I mean, you, you received a lot of love, I guess. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. We, we, we've definitely seen a lot of support and people are very, very excited and everything. And, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, the, the most we can do is. Uh, if we do do these kind of things again, try to improve the quality. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's my personal responsibility, it's the responsibility of my team to improve the quality. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll get to do that. And, you know, with these small shows, Zordera, Zordera, maybe big shows uh, and everything. And that's the hope. I try to be sincere. Okay. So coming to this point where, you know, I'm, do, I'm pursuing my MBA yeah. in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the basic requirement for an entrepreneur yeah. is that he or she needs to be uh, innovative. He or she needs to solve a problem. Right. And at the basic requirement of an entrepreneur. Right. And now, coming to the singers and the artists and what you do, right. you need to be innovative every single time. You need to deliver something new. Right. And, and you, you are solving a problem. I'm specifically talking to you because you are the guest today and I've discussed this with you the first yeah. time I met what I want to talk. Mm -hmm. Really the focus yeah. of it, one is Now. Is it a challenge for singers and artists for them to prove themselves? Prove pani gaunu pordan. It's actually given that you know I consider all the artists as entrepreneurs because, like yourself, you know you've been solving a lot of emotional problems. I mean, people but, listen to you at every time because they're while they're driving their cars, when they're in emotional distress, when they're happy, when they, uh, like you know, they know how to express themselves through your songs. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, again, thank you for the praise, but I don't know if, you know, we are solving problems. Mm. We're essentially trying to relate to people mm -hmm. um, and trying to one But it's essentially like, the way I see it is expressing a story, expressing an emotion, an experience that, you know, you felt or imagined based on, you know, other people's experiences and everything. And you're essentially just trying to talk about it so mm. that people are aware that there's someone else who's felt that story. There's someone else who's been mm. in love and therefore, you know, you're in love. There's somebody else who's had a heartbreak and therefore yeah. they can relate to your heartbreak. There's somebody else who's aspired to dreams, who's seen failures and everything. And I think that's what makes us human. Now, in terms of the entrepreneurship, um, well, it's essentially, you know, whether it's intentional or not, um, as musicians or as singers and everything, yes, there is an idea about how better to express mm. um, yourselves. Um, and, and, and that's what I think people do in, in you know, real life as well. Mm. It's just like you see yourself over the past mm. and you, you see what you're passionate about, you see mm. how to be better mm. emotionally, mentally, in terms of a skill and everything. And I think that's, uh, you know, we've been, we've been lucky to, um, you know, like uh, stumble upon, um, you know, the works that we do and everything that does contribute to us growing mm. little by little. Um, that's essentially it. And But yeah, you're right. Like I uh, think a lot of the um, artists that I've seen as well, um, they try to come up with ways and mm. everything and new ways and how better to express it. Like you, people know this as you know, this emotion or this experience as this. How can we show this as something else? But it, it's just a lot of thinking and expression. Mm. And in terms of that, yes, there's a lot of, lot of room for creativity and innovation and everything. Um, and as the end note for this, I would like to say, yes, all that is great. Mm. That is what you know breeds growth and mm. all that sort of stuff. But sometimes, um, th and th this is something that I love to talk about, uh, an artist, anything, a musical yeah. artist or any other kind of an artist, mm. um, has an artist identity mm. that that is at the core of everything else. No mm. matter how much they grow, at the end, there'll always be that particular person, you know, at the core. And uh, sometimes it's okay to just not do anything new. Sometimes it's okay mm. to say, you know, how you feel or what you've experienced in that same mm. way that you did the first time. Uh -huh. It doesn't always have to be. And that is, I think, very important because that makes you, you know, keeps you true to yourself. Right. And that is an innovation because when you think about it, it's mm. so common to try to say, oh, let's do something new. Yeah. Or we've done the, the mm. new, 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 mm. new, 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 new. And in, in the face of all that, to just put all the effort to keep it simple. And we talked about simplicity before. That is a lot of work and a lot of hard work, and, and I think that is very important as well. So, yeah, I, I, I think this is crucial. So, so you, you constantly learn and unlearn. Yeah, definitely unlearn. Yeah, that, that's a great way to put it. I, yeah, I, I think that's a very eloquent way to put it. Like the unlearning bit is crucial, I think, uh -huh. a lot of the times. What keeps you um, pretty much grounded at the same time having to say that, you know, okay, it is the part of the process. How, how, how hard is it to stay true to your craft, to tr stay true to yourself? Because the market is constantly changing. Yeah. And do you, do you see yourself, um, you know, uh, catering to the market commercially too? I mean, if it does happen, it's a great thing. But, uh -huh. you know, I don't think the only purpose um, is to survive or thrive in the market. Mm. The market mentality is sometimes... In, because... In terms of you know what you like doing, um, you like talking to people, mm -hmm. you know, excavating stories mm -hmm. and everything. Whether there was a market or not, you will always want to do that, regardless. Whether it's one person watching, whether there's no person watching, you you'll be curious, regardless, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing changes. So it's not about the market. I mean, it's a great thing that you've you know reached a certain level of success, yeah. and you can actually like uh, you know uh, like uh, reach out and bring out more stories. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that it never changes, right? So no. I think that's what is important. Like people keep. Um, thinking about these things like, oh, is it going to be successful? Is it going to get views? Is it going to get streams? Am I going to be popular? And, uh, the, you know, I own, always try to go back to this, not metaphor, but this comparison, like, if there weren't that many viewers, right. uh, if there weren't that many supporters and everything, would I stop loving music the way I do? And I wouldn't, you know, that's the, that's the thing. So at the heart of everything, um, it's difficult, obviously, because there's a lot of pressure and it's easier said than done to just like not be phased by, you know, like not being able to connect with everybody else. But I think um, 
you know, at the end of it, you just have to remember yourself, what do you do that for? Mm. Um, you do it because of your love for something and not because somebody else. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, um, if uh, on your way to um, bettering yourself, mm. you just, you know, happen to gather other resources and everything that are going to make your life comfortable, easy, even extravagant, mm. why not? You know, why should you reject positive things, mm. positive additions and everything? Mm. You won't. That would mm. be unwise and, you know, um, but yeah. So, the, the, but the focus is to actually remain true to who you are or at least try to. Right. And then uh, and along the way, if, you know, success in, you know, other terms, uh, the traditional terms, um, if they happen, great, you know. So uh, for all the youngsters, you know, uh, for, for the ones who follow you, for the ones who are just stepping into the music scene, yeah. tell me about the condition of the musical industry, you know, like the way you've seen it. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, um, is it still a matter of survival yet, still? What, what, what is it like? No, it certainly the is. The current scenario. Yeah, I mean, again, just like you said, you know, I don't know how much it is, but I think it's very much a matter of survival. I think... Uh, we still have to, you know, learn how our society should look at uh -huh. musicians and actors and, you know, painters and all that sort of stuff. Because right now, um, and I've said this multiple times before, uh, no artist is valued until they become famous. Or this, this term... Thank you. <laughs> no, this, this term people use, and I hate it. I'm sorry to everyone I've had a conversation with that I've just blown past him right. without showing my, you know, given yeah. um, uh, I wouldn't say disgust, but like given uh, dissatisfaction with it. Uh -huh. But this term viral. Yeah. And it's like, I, I, I hate it. It's just like, people keep talking about it. Right. Uh, people keep talking about it. Like, you know, an artist is not, is not successful unless somebody famous, uh, the, the person draws somebody famous mm. and the famous person tags them mm. and then now all of a sudden they're yeah. validated. Right, you know, right, it's, right. It's, 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 I'm sorry, but it's stupid. You don't need it's, to be sorry. I mean, it's something yeah, it, I talk about every time because yeah, I face that every time. You know, I'm, yeah. I face that every time because I need to be proving myself who I am. What yeah, do I do? Yeah, and, you know, but then everybody's like into the numbers. Jaisi, tawai ko the numbers book dena. Yeah, it's like you know I'm giving exams, you know, yeah. like every time, you know, from 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 the school. Yeah. Our number, unta school man number book dia, you know. But then you know, like first boy, na second boy, na third. I, I was a, I was an above average child, you know. Yeah. But it's always been about numbers, yeah. You know, school man unta kiri results, yeah. and then. Um, like your Instagram numbers. Yeah, it, it's, it, and the things are like, and that comes from a problematic culture that, you know, our society has, uh -huh. you know, and again, for people who are too sensitive to these matters, I'm not saying that only Nepal has this issue. Yeah, Every everywhere. community in the world yeah. has that issue. We just, because we're so small, mm. it seems like it's uh, emphasized mm. a lot more. Um, people tend to be really sensitive mm. in, you know, like in Nepal yeah. and in this community because we are very social media based. Yeah. Um, but the things that it stems from the culture where people are really, 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 really attached to what other people think mm -hmm. of them, so them and other people enjoy and what it is like in America or internationally, uh, too concerned with that. Uh, uh, just let, let me just put it to, you know, um, like a, a comparison. like. Uh, for instance, you know, I, I live in America and yeah. then I see shows and when we go to a few shows, mm -hmm. these are artists no one's ever heard of, mm -hmm. but it's simply uh, based on the fact that somebody said, oh, I've heard this artist, it's good, let's just go. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, oh yeah, there's nothing else that I've planned, maybe it might be a good experience. And they go just for the music, not to get drunk. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna be drunk and I'm just a bit of a bro and you don't want to. They don't try to, they just go, try to listen to the music. But they don't complain about how uh, the ticket price is like, you know, or compared to, oh, your artist goes to 80, so your percent, you know, say, it's out there, your man, so you go 80, so follow us, and everything. But here, I've seen that happen. It's like, why is this, you know, like, uh, so expensive? Expensive. I don't think, you know, and I would like, you know, fellow musicians and artists who just come out and say this. I don't think people realize how expensive things are just to get things started. Just to, like, let's say a starting, starting musician, yeah. right? starting musician, um, a microphone. Yeah. That is expensive. Benzo. The cheapest microphone is probably $150, $200. What is that, like 25,000 yeah. rupees? That is just the first thing. And let's just say, generally, I'm, I'm talking about a standard mm. starter, right? Yeah. And then they need a sound interface, you know? Mm. Um, audio interface. Maybe that's going to be, okay, the cheapest one is going to be $100. That's another 10,000. 
we route it, that's another the Koti. Uh, so we've come around to 35,000. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then we've got a computer, a laptop. Maybe we need a studio. Maybe yeah. we need someone to mix and master. A standard person starting, a college mm. person starting that, to have 1.5 lakhs and 2 lakhs yeah, and exactly, everything, exactly. that is impossible. impossible. But the thing is that people still spend it and have a song. And then they're like, oh, you're a good one, it's a good one. <laughs> it's like, okay then, okay then, buy me all the infrastructures, uh -huh. you know, as, as a starting artist, buy me all the infrastructure, I'll make a song, if you don't like it, like instead of you paying to come, you know, watch me, my show, my things about it, say it back, come see me, <laughs> see my shows and everything. But listen, that doesn't happen. Yeah. The young artists and everything and the, the, the people who start and everything don't realize how, much, how expensive things are, how expensive it is to make a music video, mm -hmm. and, and that is a required thing, mm -hmm. how expensive it is to record, to have it mastered, mix it, people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. and, and is very much of a struggle and uh, you know that, that's something that, that needs to be brought to light and that's mm. why like I'm not saying throw money and shower artists like singers and dancers and painters and everything and cinematographers in money I'm not saying like mm. I'm just saying like respect it enough where Yedi if I was selling you your uh, salmon mm. and I offered it and Sharif said this very well and if I say, asked you, you know, to buy this teapot, mm -hmm. and I said the price of this teapot is 500 rupees, you'd either take it or leave it. Yeah. It, it would be 500. You wouldn't say, oh, why? It doesn't look that great. And everything, like, I'm going to pay this. And oh, you're on the good teapot, like, my little beast, about that. So, my skill, like, ponder about this. You don't say that. Somebody's put work into that. So, there's an idea, there's an intellectual side yeah. of things and everything. And that's why certain things cost a certain way. And, yeah. you know, what it takes there, people don't consider right. that. And people, sh yes, to a certain degree, you can't always be responsible for what, you know, uh, it costs to bring something there. But, like, you have to acknowledge the fact that if you want that, you need to be okay with the fact that, you know, a massive amount of resources were expended for that to be brought into existence. And that is what people don't understand, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think, fully. Mm -hmm. And I, But people do, but like that's not a thing that... They it's don't value ingra it. Yeah, ingrained into the culture. Right. And I think we, we need to start doing that. Right. We need to stop relying on musicians just uh, up and coming, you know, like... The, to like be brought into the yeah. scene through um, playing at a restaurant where nobody respects them, nobody stops and listens to them until they're absolutely, you know, like uh, yeah. extraordinary and everything. Because nobody's extraordinary from the get go. Not everybody is. Perhaps some people are, mm -hmm. but that's how you learn. And they mm -hmm. say, you know, you need to acknowledge they exist. You need to acknowledge somebody who uh, plays in on the street, maybe who just plays a song that is maybe not the top charting thing, but at least that's you know, there's there's maybe the lyric side of things and everything. And you know, maybe it's not viral in TikTok or you know, in the world, but that's not what you value. And I, you know, that's something that I'm you know, as you've seen, I'm yeah. getting agitated about it, but because it's it's so frustrating to see that, I can see especially that. I can see that. yeah, artists or you know, people are so talented and mm. everything. Um, people don't, you know, they do a like they do not know what they do. Okay, they do It's very frustrating. Right. I'm glad that you have located that. You know, you, you've been a voice for us, <laughs> for myself too. I'm really happy for that. We are going for the next uh, commercial break. We'll be right back only on Tiago Thousand Rise by the Year, all candid yeah. and all for you. All right, Tebande. Yes, this is time for the second commercial break. Okay, this is Tiago of Mohu Chai Pradhan, Satnam Nunsa Mero Sosan Ras Baita and we are just talking about everything that I probably want to talk about, that I probably talked about behind the cameras, but you know, uh, having this conversation is a sheer pleasure. All right, so Sosan, um, you know, you're from Kathmandu, mm -hmm. and uh, you've been, uh, been brought up here, yeah. you've been pretty close to the um, culture, mm -hmm. you know? do you speak Newari? Uh, Alikati. 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 So you can you can actually have a conversation in Newari. Conversation say no one. I don't know, but nobody can hear it. But uh, Sunira, oh, God, my body, Bolli, da, on side, na, they say that. But this to cast is on there, na. Um, see, now on side, but Newari, that girl, so they were, um, they all can come. So, what was it like, you know, growing up, um, tall, tall man, and mm. having friends around, um, yeah. and it's been a while that you've been based in the US. And abo abo ayaras ay iso yar da kiri amro sohar kati ko badliye ko sa kasari badliye ko sa. What's your take on that? And ekdam ay like aileta iti farak paisi ke paila banda ay na like wood ke ni kurama music sing ni kurama apni kasari chire ko banda kiri apte 
जाता को तो गिटार पसंद आ गया रा पैसा जमा करे लग गिटार की नहीं रा ते ना I live there ते ना वड़ा ते सीखो अंदर आप प्रोडक्शन सीख दाफे नहीं कौसर गाते हैं ना खेरी ते ना केरे सीडी पसंद के बाको एवी आर मंगो रा सॉफ्टवेयर जरूर खोजे रा अन्य इत्ती के उनसे नहीं ते सरी गारे रा ते पुराना Laki risi kerja tu sering gore gori rau. Ani, so ya, yang apa dah ada, jadi jadi tu tuju, pula music jadi sering discover gori tuju, transfer. Pula CDs orang macam burn gori tuju, tuju orang ada kesan tu and everything. So tuju part ali, like it's very like, this is very katman tu cai. Abai rau cai thapa ni khas cai. Ikan modernised by sikit. Pula jadi tu cai ni tera ikan like in terms of the Yaku activity, Yaku culture, and everything. So big, them build up on this. So fast pace, the people are really like more aware of things. Cafe culture is something I love that that I've loved from New York and Dubai at that time. And yeah, it's 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 growing in a lot of the positive ways. You're on a negative one, good traffic and pollution, but you know, hopefully, due to resolve and so. But everything else is great. There are so many. Uh, artist, music, mm. ma, theater, ma, it out that are just coming up, um, and and yeah, it's uh, them positively changing the road by that. Have you been a part of jatras? Like, have you been on the streets, like you know, uh, Indra Jatra or uh. something like that? Like, have you have you experienced it first hand, like on the yeah. on the uh, streets? I'd let's say it's high now because obviously COVID yeah. and everything, and yeah. buy it up, buy it up, buy it up, yeah, buy it up to everything from uh, in the Jatra or. Do you know what Palsa Sapa was? Yeah, yeah. yeah so there th was things like that. And he, uh, the, the way Tihar was before. Yeah. And I'm so sad that it's changed um, Tihar and Dosani because um, Paila, when I was in Nepal, and you know, even before that, was uh, Tihar was a big deal. Dosani was a big deal. You know, mm. you'd be out with friends and everything and you'd just be busy in a lot mm. of the ways. And now it's changed and, and it's kind of like a thing of a past. That's mm -hmm. the I'm sad about. Nah, yeah. some, something that you miss while you're in the US the most, what is it like besides family? Uh, food, yeah. <laughs> but uh. other than that, um, I don't know. It's just uh, Kathmandu has a very different uh, you have a culture about it, right. a vibe about it where you, I don't know, you feel at home and if you want to just chill, you know, the entire city's your chill spot. If you want to work, you can do that as well. And um, I don't know. The, the, it's your kura money. The guy like banana guy or something. But San Sanu kura or something. That like I said, just like meeting. Sathi or like pila pasan tu purna thiyo. Ili ata uta ala thiyo. Ani just just in sani just a not good good thing and this and that and everything and. सब कुछ आते हैं सांसान कुछ आते हैं अलग अलग विकास आते हैं तो अच्छे में सुनता हूँ ना ना आई डोंट वांट यू टू सिंग अ सॉन्ग या दैट्स वेरी आई डोंट नो लाइक आई जस्ट डोंट फाइंड इट राइट टू मेक अ सिंगर सिंग सॉन्ग बट इट इट वुड बी रियली 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 ऑसम इफ यू कुड जस्ट रिसाइट सम ऑफ योर � yeah, okay. so uh, it's, it's, so one of the favorite piece of you know work that that I've done uh -huh. uh, personally that I that I love uh, other than the one that I'm trying to work on right, right now uh, the, with the team is um, is Luka Mari. Okay. and uh, Luka Mari now there's this uh, th this phrase yeah. this verse and uh, it starts with Sustari Sustari Bilai Zangmapani Mera Boli Sari Thimi Mai. अनि बोली तो बोली ना हो तारा कहीं ले कहीं पनी दे उते ही बोली तारा आई तो बीच में बोली तो बोली ना हो तारा कहीं ले कहीं ते ही बोली माँ पनी दे मलाई एंड देन इट्स लाइक माँ एलु ती मलाई माँ एकर तू इट्स ऑल्सो प्लेज़ टू यू नो इवन इफ यू डोंट सिंग एंड यू जस्ट रिसाइट थिंग्स मैन इट्स so this song was essentially written with the theme in mind that um, we all, you know, are not fortunate enough to just um, find the the love of our lives on yeah. the first go, um, and we, perhaps some of us never do. Perhaps you know some of us do on the first go, or perhaps some some of us do later. But generally, um, somebody we've all loved someone else before we uh, find the one, right? right? Before we find um, the uh, person we love, before we f find, right? right? Um, 
and and this matter it's like it, what what, the, what that bit is saying is like um, you know moili ke pani bhannu mildena like team night that's not been said before mm-hmm. that's all everything you've, you've you've said you love somebody before you've called them baby before you've <laughs> you've you said told them you missed them before you said you know like uh, you know for everything and this and that before so tyu kura chai like maile bhanera is going to be all old and i ki bhanne tha chana and in that sense you know my uh, words they just dissolve in me because you know like it's it's, it's you know because of who who i've been um but while that's dissolving you know in in like a negative kind of a way where that i i'm speechless um for the lack of you know uh, things being new and original mm-hmm. uh i dissolve in you in a positive way because i am lost in you but for all the right reason for all the wrong reason that words escape me for all, for the, all the right reasons i i you know um dissolve in you and do one like it's like while until o tara but i still want you to like and communicate to me mm. and say that you miss me so that you love me yeah. you I want you to call me baby I want you to do all that kind of thing so it's essentially like the intimacy is like oh pai la boy so but uh forget all that this all in the past and now you know i want you to be mine and i want to uh you know love you the way i i want to and i want you to love me the way you want to and i want to make that possible one so yeah i i love that piece of lyrics and i'm glad i stumbled upon it it's actually amazing how you put all those emotions you know limited to the lyrics because <laughs> you're a man of many words and you love to express yourself yeah, apparently, yeah. Uh, yourself apparently that's what i've yeah. come to know yeah. and you know um the way you the way you write the way you compose and the way you sing i w- i wish you always do and you know get it to all of us and probably the the coming generations i'm the tora tori wa ko ni tora tori yo rusani sabai san i wish you good health Thank i you wish so. you prosperity and i wish you all the you know good things uh, in the world thank you so much so thank, thank you so much, much for pleasure to be here pleasure be here. pleasure thank you all right so 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 nice by the in the house uh, amazing uh, conversation and of course a very good time with the singer here the songwriter here and the producer here all right so man of many words and suddenly man of wor- the words that cater to your brains and to your hearts all right they one day this is jake brandan signing off from tiago and as all those people let that heart beat for if you let it beat it'll take you to all the wonderful places ciao पावर बाय उच्च सोच को निर्माण सगरमाथा सीमेंट जूनी जूनी लाई